Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Brown from the Attleboro Public Library. Today I'm going to show you our April 2023 15-minute family STEAM activity. We are going to be doing some static electricity activities. If you would like to request a free kit of materials, then you can contact us at attleborokids at salesinc.org or give us a call at 508-222 7820 and we will be glad to give you a free kit of materials. You may already have these things at home and if that's the case you can find the written instructions on our website and you can go to our YouTube page for this video tutorial. If you do decide to request a kit of materials then inside you'll find the instruction page, you'll find two balloons, two uninflated balloons, you'll find a little thing of food coloring and you'll find two paper cups. Now, from home, you're gonna need a bunch of things, but they are all household items. You're going to need a bowl, you're going to need um, some water, you're going to need a push pin or something to make a hole in the bottom of the cup. You're going to need just any small objects you can find, maybe some tissue paper. I have tissue paper, cardstock, uh, felt, you could find paper clips, you could find a magnet, little things to test out static electricity. And because we're dealing with water, I definitely have some paper towels. All right, so let's do the first activity. I don't know how many of you have ever played with balloons and static electricity, but first thing you wanna do is you want to blow up your balloons, okay? So I have one inflated here, I'll blow up the second one. You don't need it inflated very much. You definitely want to inflate it and then tie it off. So maybe your adult will want to help you with this. And you are just going to see if the balloons, first, do they attract? Nope, they're not trying to stick together. And you want to try that with your uh, all your objects you find. I've got my felt and my cardstock. Nothing's really happening with my balloon. It's not trying to pick up any, any of the items that I have here. Try different types of items. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take your balloon and rub it. You rub it against your hair, or if you're wearing a sweater, you're gonna rub it against your sweater and really rub it in there. It's gonna make your hair all messy, but that's okay, that's half the fun, okay? You rub it in there, and then you're gonna to try to pick things up. So watch how now that I've rubbed it, this balloon is really fighting against this other one. It doesn't wanna be near it. And look how I can pick up that felt. Uh, can I do it? Oh yes, I can do it with these items. The static electricity that we just created with the balloon is now attracting the other items. So try this with a whole bunch of different things. It's kind of cool to see what you can get to attract to the balloon. Obviously, if it's very heavy, it's not going to, you're not gonna be able to pull it off the table, but you will get, you will notice some kinds of attraction going on. So that's our first activity. Our second activity is involves the water. So you want to take, I used a push pin, which is why I mentioned a push pin. You want to just take a push pin and make a small hole in the bottom of one of your paper cups. Make sure it's a nice uh, unblocked hole. The tr what you want to do is you want to be able to pour water and have a steady stream Hope you can see that a steady stream is pouring out of the bottom of my cup. So that's how your hole, what your hole needs to be able to do. So just test it a few times, make sure that you can get a nice steady stream out of the bottom of your cup, okay? Now what you're going to do in the cup without the hole, put some water in that cup and add some food coloring. The food coloring is not necessary for this um, activity but it makes it so you can see it more. I have a nice dark colored brown food coloring here. So I put it in my water. It just makes it so you can see it better. It's not necessary for this to work, okay? So I'm stirring it up. I wanna make sure all my water has some of the food coloring. Again, I have my paper towels because I tend to make a mess with things. All right. This is easier with two people, okay? You're going to, again, take your balloon, rub it on your hair, rub it on your sweater, 
see what you can do. Okay, make sure it's nice and staticky. Now the first time you take your water and you pour it through, the water just comes on through. Nothing special, just a straight stream of water. You see that? Just comes up. Then I'm gonna add a little more water to my cup. The next time you do it, this is where the another person comes in handy. Have the or other person hold your cup above your above your bowl, take your water, pour it in, and once you get that stream going, pick up your staticky balloon. Can you see that? Can you see how the water is going right? to the balloon. See how it comes out straight and then it's going right to the balloon. My cup's almost empty, but I will do it again for you. So my water is going nice and straight here and now it wants to go to the balloon. <laughs> this works best on a dry day. So right now uh, I wanted to send it out to you because we don't have a whole lot of moisture in our air. It's not too dry, but it works best on a nice dry day. Um, sometimes when the heat is on, the air gets really dry. That's when this kind of, ex these kind of experiments work. So what is happening here? I am sure that we have all at one point or another touched something or reached for somebody and gotten that shock on your hand and ow, that kind of hurts a little bit. That's static electricity. All static electricity is, is it's about electrons. It's, uh, electrons can move from object to object and atom to atom, and they can jump from one thing that has a lot of electrons to something that doesn't have any electrons. So that's where the static electricity is coming in. The water is attracted to the static electricity on the balloon. That's why it bends over. These objects are attracted to the static electricity that's on the balloon. We put the static there when we rubbed it on our hair or on our sweater, we put the extra electrons on it. So that's why they suddenly are attracted together. Uh, there's a full explanation here on the written sheet here, but I hope you have a great time doing these. They're fun and it's fun to see what you can get to attract to each other and what you, uh, what happens with the balloon? How many times can you do the water bending trick before you need to re, re put some more static on your balloon? I hope you have fun. I would love to hear how things are going for you. Send me an email, send me a picture, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.